Welcome to the Game Week 18's Once to Watch. This is where I browse players in good form that could not only do well this week, but maybe next week, and maybe the week after, and maybe even the week after that. Wow, how good is that? Just ignore my wig looking Lego air. Wait, you know what? Yeah, that'll do. We start with the entire Liverpool team. You should definitely watch all of your own Liverpool players because they have a blank game week. And no, I don't mean a blank game week like Callum Wilson, where he plays and just ends up on holiday instead doing absolutely nothing. I mean, they don't even have a game, so make sure your team is prepared. Loads of people are going to be selling their pool players on the black market, so also watch out for their prices. And it is completely up to you what you do with them. With their consent. I'll probably keep mine, to be honest. But this week sees not only Liverpool not playing, but Arsenal vs Everton, Man City vs Leicester, and Spurs vs Chelsea. The biggest oh dear for FPL. So the actual first player to watch this week is Aaron Ramsdale. He's actually the joint highest scoring keeper right now with 70 points. Which is absolutely mad considering he's had three less clean cheats than Smeichel who has the most. He's not had the most bonus out of the keepers and he's not even in the top three for most saves. What a guy, fair play. But he's still only 4.6 million, 4% selected and only plays one top six team in the next game week. With that one team being proper Arsenal. But more importantly, he is one to watch in game week 18, playing Burnley at home. Where he'll either get a clean sheet or concede seven. Because that's Bournemouth. And some of their players are out right now, so not quite sure what's going to happen there. But he is actually the only keeper with an assist so far this season. So maybe he could be a good option to assist you in getting some more points. The next player to look at is Georgie Boy Bulldog. Part of that brick wall Sheffield United defence, but he's a real winger. Well, a wing back, but he's very attacking. You're not going to get many more consistent attacking defenders for his cheap price of only 4.8 million. So playing Brighton away and Watford at home next could be very juicy for him again, making him one to watch. Our next target is Matt Target. He's had little return so far, but he's definitely nailed right now and has actually been taking a few set pieces in the last few games. So at 4.4 million and only 1% selected, against Southampton, Norwich and Watford in the next three games, he could get all the points. Or oh, probably none. But you know what? That's okay. You don't have to get him. You just want to watch. Moving on to my favourite Brazilian, it's Richarlison Dinho. Three goals in four games in an ever team that actually want to play football now. And he plays that Arsenal defence at home next. Oh damn, son. That could be very good. And he also has very good fixtures after that, making a 7.8 mil price tag pretty damn good. With him also currently playing more up front, so it could be risky getting him in, but are you willing to take that risk? I mean, I'm probably not, but are you? Next up is Jacula Grealish. He was too busy playing the crossbar challenge from the penalty spot last week to get any points, but like Target, plays Southampton, Norwich and Watford next, making him probably more of a target as their defences have not been good at all. Lately, he's become the real main man at Villa, where everything they do is involving him. Like, even when they need to go down Tesco to get some more half-time oranges down a shop, they take him with him. He's that much involved. But for only 6 million, he could and probably will get a few more goals and crossbars very soon. Making him one to watch. Next up, we have Phil. Uh, unfortunately, not Phil Mitchell from EastEnders, but it's Phil Foden. Now, uh, hear me out first, okay? There is 99% chance that if you are going to watch him this week, it will be on the bench. But he finally made his first start in the Premier League this season, getting an assist and playing pretty good. So imagine having that much of an attacking player for Man City for only 5.1 million. That would actually be so sexual, so he should definitely be one to watch, potentially. If he can get in that team and play more, damn son. Like, yes, please, thank you. Next up is the party man himself, Pookie. Now he's finally no longer finished. He's only 29. Huh? After scoring three goals in four games after going eight games without a goal. But he has now scored against Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal and Leicester. So surely making him a big boy game player. So maybe the fact that Norwich have hard fixtures could actually make him a good option again. And the fact that a lot of dead teams still own him, meaning he's still highly owned, so it's not bad owning him yourself. And he has gone back down to 6.6 .6 million, so a lot more affordable. So maybe at home to Wolves next, you should give him a watch and see if he can continue the party. Until you realise he fractured his toe mid-game last game and might not play, but watch to see if he plays, and if he plays, watch him play. Ooh, this one could be quite rash. But it's Marcus Rashford. Now, a lot of people have got him in. I mean, three goals against a Mourinho Spurs and Guardiola Man City isn't too bad, right? But out of his 10 goals, 
Four of them have been penalties, and only four of them have been against the non-top six teams. Meaning he could be quite a frustrating player to own, where he might not perform against the weaker looking teams on paper, and only against the big boy teams. Meaning watching him next against bottom of the league Watford could be a good and final indicator to see if he's worth buying or not, or if he should just stay one to one. And finally, we have Mason Greenwood. Even though he's only started one game, he's now got himself two goals and could maybe eventually start getting more and more minutes uh, until they sign Haaland in January and he probably gets less and less minutes. But before then, there is still three games against Watford, Newcastle and Burnley. So maybe one to watch. Or maybe it's time for him to just start uni instead. You know what? You're 18, lad. Go out and party while you can. But for his cheap price, he's still definitely a good bench option. But that is all the highlighted players I suggest to watch this week. Obviously, there will be so many more players that will probably score and could be mentioned. But with all these big teams playing against each other, it's really hard to guess, all right? Give me a break. But I actually aim for the players you might not have and might want to bring in soon rather than the players that you probably all already have. Also, West Ham have a blank game week, but if you have any of the Amers players, what the heck are you doing, bruh? But make sure your team is all set. I will personally probably not be selling my Liverpool players, but we will have to see with my eyes, just like the players to watch. And thanks for watching, and remember... <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs>